Yeah, man, it's YBN Kenny, and I just, you know what I mean, rolled off the porch with Dirty Good Bastard. Yes, I'm Lee. You can check my Instagram. Throw that bitch in sports mode. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We right back at it, y'all. We got my boy YBN Kenny jumping off the porch with us today. What's up, bro? What it do? What it do, man? Man, cool and family. How you, bro? Man, I'm, man, I ain't gonna lie. Words can't even explain how I feel right now. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm on the porch. Word. It's, it's Atlanta, this shit feeling good for real, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that's what's up, bro. Nah, man, we, we long overdue, bro. So, mm. you know what I mean? It's definitely good to have you grace the porch, man, and, you know, be able to tell your story, man. Yeah, for sure. Word, word. So, uh, shit, how Atlanta been treating you so far, though? Shit, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Like, bro, this shit, like, sometimes when I go places, I know I'm, I'm, I'm from out of town and it feel different, but when I'm here, it just feel like I'm in another, yeah, you know, like I'm like I'm in Milwaukee, but it's a whole another state type yeah, shit. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. it feel the same. I ain't gonna lie, I don't feel a lot of place out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, that's it, real. It, it feel like home, so like I'm damn near from the move to this motherfucker. My mama already moved, so I'm yeah, probably just follow moms. I ain't gonna lie. Or nah, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Atlanta definitely gives you like that that I guess like just familiar kind of feeling, kind yeah. of vibe, you know what I mean? And then it's interesting, bro, because there's so many people from the mill down yeah, here that no you, you'll be bound to bump into somebody, you know what I'm saying, that you know from the mill, so. Yeah, no bullshit. Yeah, man, so, so man, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, bro. We didn't had, you know, um, and, and it's a beautiful thing, man, because we've been having, you know, different people from the mill Grace the porch, man. Our city yeah. finally getting the recognition, you know that, that 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 you know we've been pushing for, you know, for so many years. Hell yeah. Um, how would you describe the mill, bro? How would you describe, you know, coming up in the mill? See, it's uh, like coming up in the mill, like it's a, it's a small city, so you know, like everybody know each other, but that shit, it's it depends on. Yo, upbringing, like where you from in the city, you know what I'm saying? From the east, south side, north, west. Yeah. It, de it depends on where you where you at. So, like for me, like coming up, it was it was kind of tough. Like it was, was kind of it was tough, but it it te it teach you how to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm high as a bit, but uh. Nah, I know what you're saying. Like, just uh, teach you how to maneuver, how to handle different yeah, scenarios yeah, and is. shit. Yeah, like I, like I said, it's a, it's about your upbringing and shit. So if you if you grow up like with the right parents or who you around, like that all you know what I'm saying play a part of like how you come up in Milwaukee. But like Milwaukee as a whole though, it's a good city though. Like it's it's a lot of hatred, but it's a good city overall though. Like yeah. where, where you can be somebody for real. No, that's real. And I always tell people. You know, like, first of all, whenever I tell somebody I'm from the mill, the first thing they say is, oh, it's black people up there. Yeah. But then when I explain to them that, like, it's so much like rich black culture up there that I didn't even understand until I started moving around to other cities and yeah. didn't realize like the other cities, like just not tapped in with black culture just oh, as, as much as, you know what I'm saying, we are or whatever. Um, but uh, but then at the same time, it's like such a small city, and you know it's like that that crabs in a barrel or yeah. that crabs in a bucket kind of feel. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like you gotta kind of get out the city to see other yeah, things. You to you definitely you, gotta do that. Yeah, get yeah. some get some perspective. You know what I mean? No bullshit because, yeah. like like I said, like the city's so small, so it's like when you doing your thing everybody gonna know you right. know what i'm saying that that bring a lot of hatred so it's like like here like shit, it's like everybody doing their thing and everybody be motivated off the shit and want to be that instead yeah. of just hating on that man and trying to bring that man down they trying to hey what what, what folks on or you know what i'm saying like question the motherfucker like you know what i'm saying how you how you, how you doing this and that so i can do this and that not you know what i'm saying tear the man down so yeah. it's like that's how milwaukee is a little bit but you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of love too, though. It's yeah. a lot of love. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I get, I get a lot of love about that bitch, yeah. but that motherfucker is like, like, like you said, crabs in the barrel. Like, that shit just, man, that shit rough, bro. Yeah, nah. People don't me. be knowing that shit. They just think this, 
Like it's we got barns and shit. Right, like, right. I mean, like, like, bro, before Milwaukee was like getting you know, old and shit. I'm like, duh. I'm telling my I'm like, man, I'm from Milwaukee. They like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, you, you got farms and shit, nigga. You live on a barnyard? I'm like, hell no, nah, right. nigga. It's black. I'm like, nigga, bring your eyes down and go on center. You know, my mom going on the north side. You, you gonna up. see black motherfuckers, like, bro, this ain't no. Bro, I don't know what motherfuckers be thinking, but right. Milwaukee is not they, no they motherfucking really, barn, bro. They really think it's like an episode of Happy Days yeah, or something. Yeah, bro. Like, <laughs> like that 70s show I said, like, right. no, my nigga. This, nah. Y'all think of Wisconsin. Like, okay, Wisconsin. Like, we do got a lot of barns. Right. We home with the cheese, but right. nigga, it get, it get treacherous in that bitch. Yeah, nah, that's real. That's real. So you grew up on the east side, right? Yep, I grew up on the east side. Like, I stayed, I stayed on the east side, but... Like my like my pops R. P. Pops man, my pops me like he like he like east side east side but he like I said it's all about your upbringing so I grew up on the east side but I didn't grow up on the east side you know what I'm saying yeah. so like my teenage years I grew up there I was probably from my when I was born I grew up on Palmer and Townsend so from from when I was born to like 13 yeah pops got you know what I'm saying he got us right up out of there he like no nah, you ain't finna fall into you know what I'm saying and yeah. doing all this extra shit so he like, he tried you feel me but it's like you can't hide shit you know what I'm saying when I'm young I know this shit I yeah. want to do this, you know what I'm saying so yeah. it's like you can't hide shit but he did his best though you know what I'm saying he got us up out of there we, I was like 13 I grew I grew up like on the west end like oh okay yeah like 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 the uh, high numbers of Hampton shit. Okay, word, word. Nah, yeah. I can dig it. And shit, I don't mean to be rude, bro. Shit, man. Who your peoples you got on the porch? Oh, uh, yeah, man? yeah. These my blood cousins, man. Yeah. Keyshawn, Deshawn, man. These yeah. my blood cousins. Yeah, yeah. yeah these niggas, yeah, like these, like these niggas, I ain't gonna lie. I can, I can honestly say these niggas is the reason why I'm here on this porch for real. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like bringing me back, back to where I need to be with the yeah. music shit. So I took like I, I have to take a break from that shit after nah, this. I can dig it, man. Nah, super important to have good people around you that yeah. can help you get motivated, you know what I mean? Especially when, you know, circumstances may have it where, you know what I mean, you lose motivation for one reason or another. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Word. So what type of kid was you growing up in the mill though? Like what was you on? Shit, I ain't gonna lie, I was a hustler, bro. Like I was a hustler, like yeah. I ain't gonna lie always. My thing is, bro, when I grew up, bro. My my pops was a hustler, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, and I ain't just saying like just a hustler and just just drug dude. I'm talking about a hustler. Like that shit gotta be in you, not on you. Like yeah. niggas, everybody can't be taught a hustler. That's why you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like, I grew up, bro. I always wanted some paint, bro. Like my thing was, I ain't never want to wait on nothing. So I always trying to find a way to make some money. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. So. Like, I grew up, like, when I was, like, I'd say, like, 10th grade, I used to do shirts. You know, I know you remember that dip shit, like, yeah, the, yeah, dip yeah, the dip shirts. Yeah, yeah, like, for I was sure. in that era, like, 2000, 2009, 2010. Yeah. Like, I was making money off that shit. Like, that was, that was, like, one of my sources of income growing up. Like, I was just a hustling ass nigga, bro. Like, I was doing shirts. Like, I was going to school selling candy and chip, I'm chip man. Like, yeah. I always was a hustler. Like, Hey, one, one thing about my, one thing about me, a person gonna say, folks know how to get some money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yep. that, that's what I was on. And when you was doing the dip shirts, when you paying shoes too back then? Like when you doing Look, like they 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 really want they really want fucking with the shoes like that. Yeah. But it was all about like the shirts we used to yeah. have, the, you know what I'm saying? Like the uh I mean, you and crazy shit. Crazy with the shirts. Yeah. yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I was in my bag with <laughs> I made I made my first thousand dollars off the motherfuckers, I was like seventeen. Yeah. And you know, back in two thousand nine, thousand dollars was a lot of money. Man, come on, no so, bullshit. Yeah. And how'd you get into that, bro? Like, have you always like been into art? Always been? Yeah, I, I always since since I uh, since I was like five years old, I always drawing. Yeah. Stayed drawing. I ain't I get in trouble with school from drawing. Always had like a, a art mentality. So like my, I don't know. It's like it's I, I call it a gift for real. Like it's like a, it's like a superpower, bro. Like I can do shit people can't do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. I could draw. Like you sitting right there, I could just draw you. Boom. A lot of people like damn, how you do that? Like it's like a, 
it's it's a it's, it's, it's like, like a superpower. Said, you just lie. said it earlier, bro. It's, it, 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 it's got to be in you, not on yeah, you. Yeah, no so, bullshit. You know I mean, you almost can't even explain it. You just yeah, can, like, I can show you better than I can tell you. Yeah, like shit, I found I found what God. You know what I'm saying? Put me on this earth to be so shit. I found it early, so that was like a big blessing too. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. yeah. So when you was coming up, like, did you have like any big homies, any mentors, like people that you was looking up to? Yeah, I had uh, yeah, like my pops. That, like that was that was my that was my big homie for real. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Like first first foremost, my pops. I was like nigga, I looked up to like besides like celebrities and shit. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying. I looked up. I looked up to uh, a lot of rap, like like a, a lot of uh, local rappers too in our city, like yeah. Cuckoo Cow, you no? Know? Yeah, for looked sure. Looked up to Cuckoo Cow, baby. I ain't gonna lie, baby Drew like a motherfucker because my yeah. pops, he played that nigga like to Man. death, like that ghetto and, hero. And uh, my mom, we in the minivan, <laughs> <laughs> he bumping baby Drew. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, yeah, I, I fuck with baby Drew too. Yeah, but yeah, I, I had a lot of, uh, I had a couple people. Uh, yeah, I want to shout out my uh, guy EJ too. He was like, he was like a big mentor, like when I when I started tattooing and shit. Yeah. So he uh, he taught me some shit for real. I ain't gonna lie, but. Word, word. Yeah. So when you was coming up, and you know, you said you was like a natural born hustler, um, but what was the reason that you felt that you that you needed to hustle? Like, was it? where like you saw cats like wearing like the newest clothes or the newest shoes and you wanted that shit or like what, yeah, like what kind of gravitated you to that? It, it, it was, it, it was, it was kind of like that, but it was like, my thing was like my main thing, like I said, it was, I ain't want to wait on nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I wanted to get some money, bro. So it was like my mama, like it was like I knew her routine when she get paid. You know what I'm saying? It was like, oh shit, she get paid Friday, we get some new shoes. Then something come up, she can't do it. Then I, you know what I'm saying? I get my hopes up. I'm like, damn, bro, I wanted that, bro. Yeah. And I can't get it. So it's like, I'm like, man, hell no, I gotta get some money, bro. Like, I I, I wanna do shit on my own, on my time. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. where that's where where it started from. Like, I like I just ain't wanna wait on nobody, bro. Like yeah. I just felt like only, only I know what pace I want to move and like what I want when I want it. I feel like I got control. If I got control of that, then it'd be you know what I'm saying like more more set for me to you know what I'm saying like I don't want to wait on nobody. That's my yeah, thing. Like that's I can it. Dig that. Like depending on people. Like that's that's something I ain't good at. I ain't gonna lie. But now but I ain't gonna lie. But now I learned. I ain't gonna sit here and say like I don't want to depend on nobody because I have to right now. But I learned a lot of patience too, like being in this church, bro. Right. I ain't gonna lie. Word. No, I, I can imagine, like, it, yeah. it, it make you, like, take a step back, appreciate yeah. certain things. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do things a lot differently. Um, at what point would you say you jumped off the porch? Shit, I jumped off the porch probably like, shit, like 15. Like 15. Yeah, that's when I got to just, you know what I'm saying, rambling, rambling. Like, when the, when the shirt shit didn't work, that's when, the street shit got involved, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was like, that shit died out. Like that shit, you know, that shit fashion, like clothes, yeah. that shit, I don't give a fuck. Like if it ain't Louis Gucci or whatever, sometimes that shit gonna die out. Even that shit die out sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's fashion. So it was like, damn, this, 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 I, I seen it dying out. Cause it was like shit I was paying for, I couldn't pay for no more. So yeah. it was like, I ain't know what to do, so the only thing that I knew was the streets type shit. So yeah, and that's when I started getting busy. Like it was, I don't know, it was, it was, it was something I shouldn't have did, but it was like I, I ain't know nothing else before I was tightening the shit. Yeah, no, I was that's... like I was like 15, 16. Yeah. No, that's real, man. I mean, they say hindsight is twenty twenty, so it's like after the fact, you know what I mean? We can yeah. look at different decisions that we made and you know all that and, and, and say like, all right, like I. I coulda, woulda, shoulda, you know what I mean, done this different or, you know what I mean, moved a little different, you know what I'm saying? Like Hell in this yeah. direction. Um, what would you say, what would you say is like one of your biggest life lessons that you've learned, uh, you know, uh, today? Shit, um, I ain't gonna lie. Man, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I done, it's like, I done been through so much shit, bro. Like so much, bro. Like it's like trauma is like I don't know, bro. It's like my cousin. Huh. Like I don't, I don't have so I don't have car accident. This like this this is my second time getting shot. 
So it's like I done been in a trauma unit so so many times. It's like yeah. My life lessons, like all, you know what I'm saying? Everything that happened to me. So it was like, I really, I don't know, like all this, this right now, this chair, this, this really my biggest life lesson. Like I'm still learning. Like right. a lot of people like, bro, I only been in the chair two years, bro. Yeah. I'm moving like, you know what I'm saying? Like my girl, daddy, she, he, he thought I was in the chair for like my whole life type shit. Cause how I adapted like gotcha. so quickly to this shit is like, this is my biggest life lesson because it's like, damn, I just felt like God set me down because I was moving too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure like and, and at the point, you know, when this happened, you know, you had such a buzz in the city yeah. and had so much motion. I mean, you were you one of the artists that was, you know, cultivating like like some of these new dances yeah. and. You know what I mean? Just like the the vibe of the city, you know what I mean? And, and, and what and like what it is today. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that like when something like that happened, like it is, you know what I mean? Like it definitely slow you down, make you yeah. sit no, back. For real. And, and it, really, it, it definitely, I swear to God, it slowed me down a lot, bro. Yeah. No bullshit. All right. Um, and can you speak to the scenario uh, that happened to uh, put you in the chair? Yeah, like it was like, this shit happened, uh, what, 21? Like the end of 21 type shit? Uh, no, what was it when that shit happened? Was that 20? It was 21? No, 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 it turned 21, I think. No, 21. 21, it turned 22, like. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah this Cause you had that quarantine visual in 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late, late 21. Though. Yeah, like, no, it was November 27, 21. Okay. Yeah, because I, uh, bro, it was a lot of shit going on, bro, like, with my life and shit, bro, like, that's when this path, like, I ain't gonna lie, the path I was going put me here, hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, like, the scenario that, that you know what I'm saying, me, I, I'm, I'm gonna just start from the beginning to the end type shit. So, look, it's like, I feel like I was doing, I already had it going on, you know what I'm saying? I, I got the tattoo shop, I'm, I'm tatting, I'm doing, I'm doing my thing. But I want to dip and dive, you know what I'm saying? Like, is it you gonna stay? Is it you gonna stay over here, or you gonna go in the streets? You can't have two feet like that, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. So it's like I was trying to do that, and I felt like, you know, what I'm saying God put me in this position because, yeah, right. yeah. So it was like, you know, what I'm saying I'm I'm tatting, and then I'm trying to, you know, what I'm saying dip and dive in the streets and shit, and that shit. One. I had what I had going on. I shouldn't have been doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, God put me on this path to, you know what I'm saying, go forward and and do that and not do no extra shit. So I feel like, like, was, on that night type shit, when it happened, like, I was going through a lot. You know what I'm saying? I was fighting cases and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I was on Hubert at the time. So it was like, I'm going back and forth to work in jail. You know what I'm saying? Is so, that like some is that like house arrest? Yeah, or? No, it ain't house arrest. It's Hubert. Like you, you. It's a uh, work release. Oh, gotcha. Work release. So you know what I'm saying? I go to jail at night, go to work during the hours that I put through and shit. So you know, I was I'm my own boss and shit. So I was I was like I was taking every motherfucking uh, hour I could. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So like that shit happened like four months in. So it was just one night. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, I was tatting, I had one appointment at eight. Then uh, I went to the car and shit. I wasn't even about to leave yet. All I remember is I, I went to the car, brought to get some, it was it was some M&M's, it was some the peanut, I don't even eat them motherfuckers no more since this shit happened. But it was the peanut M&M's. I went to the car to go get them. And all I can remember before I blacked out and shit was just flashes and I hit the pavement, you know what I'm saying? I fell instantly. So it was like, I'm like, damn. Like, it just felt like a dream, bro. Like, it felt like I was dreaming. Like, you know, how, like you really dreaming, like something happening in your dream. And then you can wake up. That's how I was feeling like, oh no, this shit ain't happening. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, nigga, you just walked out the shop to go get some peanuts. You got it. Something happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Somebody, you know what I'm saying, like parked in front of my car, uh, try to, you know what I'm saying, try to get me while I was going outside the shop. They, like, 
and, and I, what I got hit with was, 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 was a rifle, bro. Automatic, bro. Like, mm-hmm. it was over. Man, my, my car, bro, my car had like 40 holes in it, bro. I ain't even make it in the car, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So it was a blessing for that because I felt like the door really, you know what I'm saying, like blocked some of the bullets. But, you know what I'm saying, I hit the pavement and shit. Then uh, bro them come outside. They come outside like, damn, what the fuck happened? What the fuck? Woo woo. He like, get up. Where you like first he's looking for me. I'm under the car. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I'm shot, bro. I'm shot. You know what I'm saying? So bro, they drag me. He like, bro, get up. I'm like, bro, I can't, I can't get up. So it's like, and then they drag me in the shop and shit. It's like, bro, I've been through so much shit, bro. So much trauma. Like, it's like I know what to do. I know what's gonna happen. I know the 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 process. So it was like, all right, boom, at the time, you know what I'm saying? I called my mama, hey, ma, I got shot, woo woo, hang up the phone. I'm like, I called the ambulance for myself. Everybody in there trying to, they, they, bro, it's crazy, bro, they in there scrambling. I'm, I'm calm, bro. I'm like, bro, I gotta get to this hospital, whoop de whoop, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah, that, that night, bro, I remember that shit vividly, bro, but it, it just fucked up. I don't know, bro, that shit. That shit fucked me up. Like I, I blacked out a couple times. Like, it, I really can't describe that feeling, bro. That shit was just so weak as a bitch. I ain't gonna lie. When it first happened, did you know that you were hit? Like when yeah. it first happened? Yeah. So it was like when I, I like when I when I walked to the car. When I seen the flashes, like it was just like you know what I'm saying. Gunshots, boom, boom. Seen the flashes, but it's like, damn, well, I blacked out for a second. Then I'm like, I know I got popped. That's all I can remember. Like, it was like I went into that dream phase as, a, as the flashes went off. Then when I woke up, when bro them came out to come get me, I'm like, I'm popped. And that shit burnt on my baby. That shit burnt so fucking bad, bro. That shit burnt, bro. I remember. That's that's one thing I remember too. That shit hurt it, bro. Yeah. Wow. So did you? Uh, so a- after after that happened, um, like, where did it put you mentally? Uh. It put me. It put me. I ain't gonna lie. It put me. It put me in a fucked up position, bro. Because. When it happened, you know, I'm still in jail. So now I'm going through this shit by myself because I'm on a John Doe list. I'm in jail, still cuffed to a bed, knowing I'm paralyzed and nobody could see me or talk to me. Nobody, bro. So I'm in there going to therapy. I'm doing all this shit, bro. Like, bro. I was in there for a month, bro, without talking to nobody after getting shot, knowing that my life finna change because I'm paralyzed. I'm in there doing therapy, doing through all this shit, bro. Like that was that was like the the most depressed and like emotional I ever been, bro, because it was like, damn, it was like hell, bro. Yeah. I, I wanna talk to my mama. I can't talk to my mama. I I nobody there that could comfort me, bro. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was like, like I ain't gonna lie, bro. It was, it was some, it was some, it was some nice people, bro. Like, like the nurses, CNAs, and doctors. It was some nice people, like keeping me comfort. But I'm like, I don't know y'all. At the end of the day, right. I need my, I need my immediate family, like the people I love, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I can speak if you hear me, because I remember picking you up and how you was, though. Like you was just happy to get out. Like, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Like it was like. Bro, as soon as I got up out that bitch, they, they was the first ones uh, to get me and shit. So it was like, man, when I got up out that bitch, bro, I was, that's, that's where my, when I was in the hospital, that's where my, like, my lowest. Yeah. When I got out, I just fully adapted. Word. Because you know you're so used to, in, in, you know, these traumatic type of situations, like, you yeah. think you could be in a hospital, people bringing flowers and bears and, you know what I mean, yeah. all that, and you get the comfort of your people, but to have to deal with that and then still be treated as a, as a, as a criminal, be, you know what I mean, yeah. like, 
um, just just placed by yourself and dealing with that and then your own thoughts. Like I could yeah. imagine that, you know, yeah, I mean, your mind it. just going everywhere. Yeah, my shit was going because I don't know what's going on out there. I'm like just like damn, my mama don't know. Like I'm I'm really I'm trying to I'm trying to be strong for my people so I can get to them faster. Because right. I'm like at first I'm like fuck that therapy. <laughs> I ain't trying to do none of this shit. I'm man, fuck this shit. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't getting out the bed. I ain't doing shit. But I'm like. Man, if I, I got to do this shit if I want to go home. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I've been sticking to my mom, mom and then I'm like, man, I got to I gotta go. I got to do this shit, bro. Yeah. So I can get home. Nah, nah I can dig it. Yeah. I can dig it. And how long did it take you to adapt to, you know, to, to the new reality that, that you had to face? Yeah, you know? so it was like, it took me, it took me a minute, bro, because like I said, when I got popped, I was I was still on house arrest. I mean, I know I was still on the uh, the Hubert work release shit. So when I got out the hospital, they like, uh, you still got a sentence to do. I, you know what I'm saying? I had a year of that shit. I only did four months. So they put me on house arrest. Gotcha. So now I only can go to therapy. I'm in the house. I can't even adapt. So I was sat back by that shit for a whole year. Mm. And then that's when they, you know what I'm saying, put another case on me and shit. But I'm like, damn. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I really couldn't adapt, bro. It took me like two years. Like this year, like, like I say this past year, bro. Cause I've been in the church two years. That first year, I couldn't adapt. Like the second year, that's when I started adapting for gotcha, real. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, cause I seen the vlog where uh, I seen the vlog where you would. Um, you did a vlog like where you was traveling for the first time yeah. like with your chair and everything and was you know showing that experience hell yeah yeah um at what point like were at what point did you pull out of you know like your depression and things like that that you was dealing with to be open to you know start moving around and doing things yeah it was like uh it was it was like in march uh March of 22, that's when I, well, no, it was like, was it March? No, it was, yeah, it was March, March of 22. Mm-hmm. That's when I, like, I ain't let nobody know I was in a wheelchair. Huh. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, like four, five months later, I, I just uploaded a picture in this motherfucker. I'm like, shit, if I'm in the chair, shit, I'm still do what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm still gonna live my life. So it was like March of 22. Like I say, like six months after that shit happened, like four, like four, five, six months or something like that. Yeah. Like I say, like five months. Yeah, like five months. How that that shit like that shit put me in a deep depression, bro. Like it was like a cycle, like the from the hospital to the being on house arrest, and then like it just got uplifted after. Or like court shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit just blew out. That's when I got deep up out that shit. But when I uploaded that picture, that's when I was like, on the G, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, fuck it, I'm finna just adapt with this shit. Like yeah. I ain't finna give up, bro. Yeah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Real. And it took a lot of it took a lot out of me to do that because I ain't even want no. I felt embarrassed, bro. Like damn, I'm in a fucking wheelchair. I never in my life thought I'd just be in a wheelchair. Like it's, just, it's still crazy to this day. I ain't gonna lie, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I got about that shit though. Like yeah. quick, I ain't gonna lie, quick. Super important too, man, because shit, you can just find yourself to continue to spiral and shit get to a point where you can't pull, you know, out yeah. of that. And then it start affecting people around you too. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah, and the motherfucker ain't wanna, the motherfucker only like that's that's one thing too. You can't just be depressed all day, be, oh man, I can't. Man, mo- then motherfucker gonna give up on you. You, yeah. you, ain't, ain't nobody finna sit there and, you know what I'm saying? Like, do more for, for you than you do for yourself. So you gotta pull up out that shit. Like, people gonna lose faith in you. They gonna be like, man, dude, just gave up shit. You don't right, wanna do right. nothing, shit, fuck it. So it's like, when you pushing, they gonna push with you. Some motherfuckers gonna, like, bro, the men in this church, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I lost a lot of people, bro. Like. For real, like I lost a lot of a lot of people. Like it, it pushed people away too. For real, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, what's one of the biggest changes uh, to your life since you know since being in the chair? Shit, uh, 
like the biggest chain shit. I don't know, shit, it's just like, shit, just getting up and walking. Like, it's it's a, it's a lot, like, being in this chair, bro, it was like, it made me, it made me just think about the the smallest things you could do, like, just rolling out the bed and going to, going to use the bathroom. Yeah. Now I got to transfer out the bed, get in the chair, go to the bathroom, transfer out the chair, do all this extra shit, like, it, it's 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 just the the simplest things, bro. Like yeah. people, I, it's a I ain't understand it till I got in it, bro. Yeah, and I ain't even know like it's a strong guys community of wheelchair people too. But it's like I don't know, like that that was like the biggest change, like just knowing I couldn't walk. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like get like just getting up and walking. Yeah, no, that's that was real. that was the biggest change. And what about with your mindset? What would you say is like one of the biggest changes uh, mentally that you've that you had? Uh, like mentally, shit. Uh, it it just it brought it brought a lot of peace to me, bro. For real, like now mentally, I'm way more patient. Like I'm 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 mentally strong stronger bro because because yeah. i feel like you know what i'm saying yo yo your brain is the strongest thing on your body for real yeah you know what i'm saying like it that shit like really put me in a place where i'm like i'm i'm thinking ahead i'm i'm thinking backwards forward side to side like it, it got me in a place where i know where i need to be type shit yeah you know what i'm saying that humbled me a lot for real for real like i like mentally i'm straight though for real yeah I ain't gonna lie. That's what's up, man. I can dig it. Um, do you still tattoo? Have you still been tattooing? Hell yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. So I just started back tattooing like a, like last year October. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I took I took a year off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was still trying to get through this shit. I was fighting the case. Then uh, uh, when I was fighting the case after all that shit, I'm I'm like. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was in, the, I was in, the, I was in the space where it was like, folks, I gotta get some money, folks. I'm right. like, dog, like you know what I'm saying? I motherfucker put up dog shit, but it's like, nigga, if you not making no money and you spending it, that shit go. I ain't gonna lie, that shit go down quick, Man, bro. Going the I ain't gonna quick. lie, so it was like, nigga. I'm like, fuck, so the G, I'm like, I gotta get some money, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, man. And then, then it's like, bro, tattooing. That like, I love music too, bro. Yeah. But tattooing what really made me, cause that was first. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's that's my thing. So yeah. I took a year off. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, I had uh, I fucked around like, cause I I had owned the shop and shit. Uh, it was called Luxury Ink before it was Ink Below Zero. I had owned it. Then uh, I fucked around. I'm like, I'm, I'm done tatting. So, you know what I'm saying? I bust moves. I, I told bro, like, man, take this bitch over. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But in my mind, I'm like, I know, like, like shout out to my boy Eli, too. No bullshit. That, that's my brother, bro. Like, he, I, uh, as I told him, take over and shit. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing, bro. I'm like, bro, just keep it as a tattoo shop. You know what I'm saying? In my mind, I knew bro. Like he, like, you know what I'm saying? His upbringing and how he is as a person, I know he a good businessman. So I'm like, all right, I know, bro, I'll keep it as a shop just in case, you know what I'm saying? What if I want to tattoo again? This yeah. just in my mind, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, I'm just thinking, like, I'm, I'm just like, when your emotions going on, you, you, you just, I'm speaking off emotion. So yeah. it's like my emotions and shit, I'm like, man, I don't want to tattoo no more, woo woo. And a year later, I hit up bro. I'm like, man, all right, bro, I'm finna just come back. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have this business. We're gonna make this shit go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then I came back, man. Now it's called Ink Below Zero. And shit, I'm back doing my thing. Like, yeah. quick. Nah, that's what's up. No shit, gotta get back to that paper chase. Hell shit. yeah. Can't be no broke ass nigga. No bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas, I can't be no cheap ass nigga nah, either. I'm telling you. G. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> <On the G. laughs> so, yo, um, I've also, so I saw in your vlog that, like, I seen you driving, and yeah. I, and, and then I've seen you put pressure, like, on, on your legs, too. Yeah. So, at what, to what extent, like, are you able to, to use them? Yeah, so, so when I drive and shit, 
I uh I use hand controls because okay. I only can I can do this and shit with this leg. This 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 this, this motherfucker strong. Yeah. This bitch, he don't want to do shit right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta make sure that I keep my legs active. Right. Because if they if they ain't doing nothing, they ain't gonna gain nothing. They ain't, they gonna lose. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? You don't use them, you lose them. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So I just gotta like like with the driving and shit, I can't really my shit ain't strong enough to I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like gotcha. yeah. flat my ankle down enough to hit that pedal. So I, I gotta use the hand controls and shit, but this motherfucker helped me out a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like from transferring because I can push off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can I can like maintain my balance and shit. Like yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like uh uh that like all this shit I'm telling you about, like, cause I'm I'm uh what's that called? No, uh, no, it's called uh, incomplete. Oh, yeah. okay. So I got a chance of walking again Word. because I got I got moving and sensation and shit in my legs. So yeah, it's a chance. So I'm, that's why I'm back in therapy and yeah. shit too. That's too, man. Oh, yeah. Got to got to got to put like you you were saying earlier like how the like the mental is like everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like shit. As long as you don't give up, as long yeah. as you, you know what I mean, keep pushing, keep, you know what I mean, do, yeah. doing the physical therapy and all that. No yeah. bullshit. It's all in your mind for yeah. real. No yeah. bullshit. Cause if if I if I wanna walk, I can walk, bro. All I gotta do say it in my head. You know what I'm saying? Everything everything on your body responds from your brain. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. if I wanna walk, I gotta keep that, you know what I'm saying? That that mentality, keep that shit in my mind. So my legs can know, like, all right, we taking a break right now. Yeah. But we finna get back to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's real. That's real. Now, uh, back into the music, bro. You dropped your first mixtape around like 2015, right? Yeah. Um, when, when, when you, when you was dropping, when you first started dropping, like, cause it, I, it, it seemed like, like Milwaukee, like them, been through like peaks and valleys of like artist that's been buzzing there and motion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like just the city having motion, but like, were there other artists that you was, you know what I'm saying? Like tapped in with, or that you was looking at, like even around that time that- you Oh, know in 2015? Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, I was tapped in shit. It's like, uh, I was tapped in with Chicken. Well, I'm still tapped in. That's my boy. Yeah, Chicken. we we talked about you when I interviewed when I interviewed. Yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's why that that's what made me uh, hop on it. I'm like, damn, what the fuck's not? They yeah. know they know what's going on. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Oh God. Yeah. So, Y'all yeah, tapped in. I was tapped in. Chicken. Uh, Chop. Look, you know, it was Lil Trey. It, it was you know what I'm saying Big C. Yeah. Uh, you know Wonder Bread. Uh, who else was out? Uh, let me see. It's a lot of motherfuckers. Larry Bird. I, I, I'm tapped in with everybody for real. I yeah. ain't gonna lie. Like anybody from that era too. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's a lot of names. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, your song "Hoes Need Me" uh, that created a lot of buzz, like in the yeah. city too. Can you can you can you speak? Hell, can you speak? I ain't gonna lie. Like dog, that's to this day, bro. Like that shit is a classic, bro. Yeah. They play that shit every like they see me. They see me come through the. They playing it, even if I ain't there, you know what I'm saying? Like that yeah. shit is a classic, bro. Like when that shit when that shit took off, bro, I ain't know it was gonna take off like that. Yeah. Like how the song came about though, it was like like back back in the the, the twenty ten days, I, uh it's really people really don't even know, bro. That's that's a sample of that Kaya that uh don't trust no nigga, no. Yeah, yeah. Like that song used to come on in the uh in the little in the little parties and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Then we used to be like, I don't need no hoes, bro. <laughs> me, me. We used to say it before the before they whole song play to yeah. that song. So I was like, I hit a uh, shout out Tay Love too. I hit up Tay Love for the beat. I'm like, bro, I might remake that uh, Kaya beat, bro. I'm finna do something on that bitch. Oh God, then I just said, I don't need no hoes. I just got to talking my shit. And then yeah. that shit just, bro, that shit went crazy, yeah. bro. Yeah. I'm talking about from, motherfucker, grandmas was saying that shit, bro. though. 
I could, ain't gonna lie. Could that. you imagine if, if we had TikTok back then? Man, bro, like that song would have went crazy. Man, I ain't gonna lie. That shit would have that shit would have been way bigger than what it was. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I had Lil Baby singing that shit, bro. Huh. I opened up for Lil Baby, bro. Him and I, I got the video, bro. Him and Jada was singing that shit. Like, yeah. I don't need no hoes. I don't need me. I'm like, damn. I'm like, I'm lit as a bitch around this motherfucker. Oh God. Yeah. How how does that feel? to or how did that feel like to be getting love and, and recognition from artists you know and, and people outside the city yeah shit, that shit felt like good as a bitch like to this day bro like it's like like from ohio uh it's motherfuckers know me from los angeles uh yeah especially detroit detroit yeah. bro the whole michigan damn near yeah. Kentucky. Because yeah, you, you got beats from Energy. Uh, yeah, from, yeah. yeah from Energy. Hell yeah. yeah. My mama, uh, y'all shout out to Energy too, on oh God. Yeah, it's from all over, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That shit be feeling good, bro. Yeah. That shit feel good. Nah, that's what's up, man. And then T Glaze that, like, shoot, shoot, was shooting a lot of your visuals. Yeah, and stuff yeah, too. yeah. Shout out T Glaze too. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was I be wanting to make sure to shout too. out other people in the mill and other cats that's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah. Like, like on the uh on the video, yeah, cause my cousin he he do my shit now too. Black oh, okay, visuals, word. yeah, black visual. My mama, uh, yeah. fat fat, yeah, fat fat was going and uh Ray shot it too. Ray yeah, shot. yeah, Ray shot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did he did one of my shits too. That went crazy. That boiling that shit was going. Yeah, I I redid that little Martin shit. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's right. That's what, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, uh, all right, two songs that I really rock with too. Uh, mashing ass P. Oh yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh yeah, when I redid the 50 Cent shit. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, shout out to Gord G's too, he on that bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then that OnlyFans joint, I, I really Oh yeah, that, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that's the, that's the one, bro, I gotta promote that shit more, bro, because that's the one motherfuckers be on me about, like the yeah. out of town people. Yeah. They be like, bro, that shit cold. And that's the uh, beat I got from Energy and shit. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah, nah, that one go crazy. You, you was telling me though, before you turn your oh, when you upload it. Oh yeah, y'all yeah, bro, yeah, that yeah, that bro, it's crazy, bro, cause that's my that's my favorite song too, bro, because oh, right. it bring a lot of like memories back when it was like I was in my bag, I had to turn myself bro, I did that video, bro, be, a day before I had to turn myself in. Oh shit. So it was like, nigga, I'm on my way to the HOC. I'm hitting fat fat like, hey, fool, upload the video, bro. I'm 30 minutes away from the jail, bro. I'm trying to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, cause yeah. I was like, I don't know I'm gonna be locked up. I'm gonna be in that bitch for a year. I'm like, man, I gotta flex. I'm like, I, I gotta let motherfuckers know, like, yeah. man, we still going crazy. I'm gonna get out and do the same shit, go crazy. You know what I'm saying? With the music shit. Yeah. On the jail. <laughs> nah, that's what's up, man. And then and then you got uh you got heavy into the game, man. Like I've been seeing you, like I've been seeing yeah. like the sticks are us. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and, so y'all, and y'all got a server, right? Aren't y'all? Y'all y'all sticks are us. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. sorry, my nigga Pace. That's that's my boy Peso, uh, and uh, what's folks name? Uh, I think KB. Uh, it's a nigga from Memphis. I forgot his name though. Yeah. But, yeah, it's they sorry. Yeah, I got it. I got into that game and shit, bro. Like when when I was early in my injury. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I uh, that's when I was finding myself and shit. So I was like, I'm sitting in the crib. I might as well stream. I'm seeing. I'm seeing Grizzly, like, I was watching that Grizzly World yeah. shit like heavy, like on some yeah, movie got, shit. Like I was watching every cold. series of this nigga dog. Yeah. So I fucked around and invested in a PC. So I just got into that shit. Like that shit, that shit really like, that shit in a way saved my life too. Cause I be, I be, I be getting paid off the stream and shit too. Yeah. Yeah. So I be on there, you know what I'm saying? I started, I started in Grizzly World and shit. I'm well, mad, I because I seen you like interacted like yeah, directly yeah, with Grizzly. Like, did yeah. you save him from getting uh like yeah? Like, from oh a God, I say, bro, like I, I had plenty of little interactions with T, bro. I had my first, yeah, that was my first interaction with him when I, uh, <laughs> I one of my gang members and shit. Shout out my DOA <laughs> niggas, dog, <laughs> on the game with T. He tried to rob T Grizzly, so I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, no, nigga, this nigga the plug. We need folks for the bricks on the G. I'm like, we can't rob the plug. Woo -woo. <laughs> I saved him and shit, dude. He was fucking with me after that. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Like, I met, I met a lot of niggas on there. I met Young and Ace. We, we was a tool. That nigga, that nigga damn near hated me in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I just be fucking his ass up. 
<laughs> hey, that nigga, hey, that nigga, bro, Young and Nice, that's my boy, though. He's funny as a bitch. <laughs> nah, I, uh, Young and Nice, uh, Zay, yeah. uh, Zay, Osama, Zay Osama funny as hell, dog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, bro, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro, that's like another way of networking, too, bro. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of motherfuckers out there, but now I'll be, I'll be on there, I'll be on there with the city, like. Yeah, I'm yeah I chicken. see you and Chicken on yeah, there. Yeah, Chicken, Chicken hit me up, like, folks, get on the game, fool. I'm like. I'm like, oh, what you on the PC for? I mean, gee, I, I see it. I'm like, damn, fuck, we gotta, I'll be on that shit heavy, bro. Fuck with me, oh God, we finna go crazy. Yeah. Then we just went crazy from there, y'all. We got a, uh, our gang called Forever Lit Up and, uh, and Sticks R Us and shit. That shit, that shit be cracking, though, bro. Yeah. That shit, that shit keep you out the way, too, bro. Yeah, no, nah, that's real. Yeah. It's crazy, too, because, I mean, Cats is really in there. Uh, like a whole new person like yeah. can't call a person by their real name yeah, gotta call them by their character it's yeah. real role playing nah, like really you, you gotta you gotta stay in character on that shit like especially in the serious server like all all them little semi-serious shit you just shoot them up bang bang that shit weak though like yeah but when you when you really RPing, you gotta stay in character. You can't call a nigga by the name. You can't say shit in real life. Yeah, none like of I, that. That's called that's called OC, like out of, out of character. You mm, can't do that. You get yeah. banned or they kick you out from that shit. Cause it's like when you role playing, it's people watching. You know what I'm saying? So you creating an audience. It's like you making a movie. You making yeah. a live movie. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't want no goofy bullshit going on on your live movie. So right, right. It's it, it's it's all about having like, bro, you gotta have good, like, you gotta have a good social skill with that shit too. Like, if you, yeah, if you a nigga real. that don't know how to talk to nobody, you shouldn't try to do that <laughs> shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, to you. that shit ain't for everybody, bro. Yeah, nah, for real. Yeah, cause you gotta, I mean, shit, you gotta be quick with it. Like, yeah. you gotta be able to adapt quick. You Man, gotta- that shit, that shit like, I swear to God, that shit is a virtual world. That shit like a whole nother world, bro. Yeah. The same shit we do out here, like we hustle. Right. Niggas, niggas out there, we dumping, getting to bang outs, fighting in the club and shit. Like, bro, that shit funny as hell. Dog, you get a bitch pregnant on that motherfucker, had 10 kids, That's baby crazy. mamas, all type of shit. That shit funny, bro. Then, but it, the good part, if you streaming, you in that right server, you got that audience, you getting paid. Yeah. So it's like a win-win. You doing something you love and getting paid for it. That's, that's something I, I suggest anybody do. If you, if you do so, if you if you like doing something, you can get paid from it. Man, ain't no way you shouldn't be going all nah, in. Nah, that's real. Look, the the days of parents being like, turn that video game off. Yeah. You waste your time. Like, nah, better let them turn keep that playing. Turn that fuck on. You know what I mean? Cause I saw that. Cause I be playing. I be I be playing with my son, but I'm trying to. He ain't no. He ain't no like people person like that. So I, I, I'm trying to get him to get in the. Uh, he play Warzone a lot, so. Yeah. I'm trying to get him to get into to streaming because he, yeah, he, he for the eight and shit, he cold at that shit. But I don't know how he gonna try to adapt to the stream and shit. But yeah, I think he could do it though. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. for sure. I mean, the younger cats, the the, the kids be more advanced than yeah. us when it comes to the technology yeah, now. Yeah, they, game they, and they got the they got them quick reactions. Yeah, that 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 reaction time way faster when you young. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, nah, for sure, for sure. Um, how do you uh, how do you vision you know yourself using your story to be an inspiration for other people? Yeah, like I ain't gonna lie, like that's that's one reason why I feel like I'm in this position to to do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm strong enough to you know what I'm saying embrace this shit. So you know what I'm saying like. I know it's a lot of people in this situation. So when they see me on my page doing this, you know what I'm saying? Like when I do my reels, they see me traveling, they see me doing all this, like I ain't giving up. I get them hope. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know what I'm saying? Like this shit bigger than me. So it's like, that's something I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's just in me. Like, yeah. I, I feel like that's one of my missions and that's what God put me in this position to do to, you know what I'm saying? Embrace what's going on with me to help people that, you know what I'm saying? Cause this shit, bro, this shit will put you, man, bro. This shit, bro, a lot of a lot of people commit suicides from getting in the wheelchair, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I know like, cause it, it, I, I be inspired by a lot of people that uh that's in the wheelchair too, bro. I be looking at uh, like it was this dude named, it's, the, it's my boy Kevin and, uh, and my boy Van. 
Like them, 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 like the the two people that I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like damn near got up under that wing and they was like teaching me little shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was like I try to embrace this shit and make. You know what I'm saying? I try to I try to embrace this shit and, and, and make it seem like you can. You know what I'm saying? You can you can still get through your life, bro. You still live your life in a wheelchair and get people hope, bro. Yeah. I'm, a lot of people be inspired by me, and I be seeing that shit, and I be that shit be feeling good, and I, I feel like I'm completing my mission by doing that. Nah, that's what's up, man. Because they say that, you know, God only puts, you know, these heavy burdens on the strong people that can handle them. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, yeah I believe that for real. Yeah. It's like in some ways I know it's like it, it, things don't be seeming fair or it's like, you know, like why me? But then it's like at the same time understanding like that, you know, some of this is like a part of your purpose. You yeah. know what I mean? And, Hell yeah. Yeah. When you dropped the song uh, Never Change. Yeah. Was that the first song that you that you released after your accident? After the uh no, it was uh the pain. The pain. The pain that's yeah. right. The that's pain. right. It was two songs on there. Yeah. The pain. Yeah. Uh, the pain still and, and, and still, still breathing. breathing. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was the first. That was the first one. That, okay. The pain and still breathing. Yeah. Yeah. Cause y'all uh, black visual. He shot it. Oh, word, yeah, because yeah. you was in front of that, because you was in front of the car, I think in front of like a red car. Or yeah, 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 the fan, yeah. Yeah, he had shot the video, bro had recorded me on oh, God, okay. so it was like. Yeah, we recorded that shit in his mama living room. Yeah, oh, wow. in the living room, fan going on and yeah. everything. Yeah. And you know, I'm on house arrest, so it was like, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do shit, so I'm like, I gotta make some shit happen. <laughs> yeah, real shit. You know, so, yeah, that's a. That red car, fun fact. Kia boys tore that bitch up. Yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> a couple months later. Yeah, damn. That's crazy. Them Kia boys, man, they, man. they, they took. That shit calmed down a little bit, though. Yeah. Bit. Just, a little but bit. But they, they grown now. It's been a little couple yeah. years. Right, right, right. Like they Kia men. Now. Yeah, right, right. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, they, they done moved on the other whips. That shit gonna be a real charge. Now. Yeah, right. Oh, straight man. up. Straight up. So, no, nah, I, I had asked about the song Never Change, though, because I felt like the message in that song was like so important yeah. for your fans and people that you know really rock with you no, to know real. that like shit even though i done went through some shit like ain't changed. nothing changing no yeah. bullshit and that's that's exactly how i felt too oh god because when i was going through like on the song like i was i was still on house arrest trying to trying to you know i i when i, I caught a case for for that shit like bro that shit it, it's fucked up because when I when, when I got popped, bro, they tried they tried to fucking put a case on me saying that, like, oh you shot back now nah, now nah, I'm gonna go to jail. I'm like, oh hell no! It's like even if I did, bro, like what the fuck? Like my nigga, like I'm not gonna just die, right? You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I, I beat that shit, got through that. Then on the song, cause I said like when they let me free, I'm hopping straight on a plane, mm. and I did that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I iced my bitch out, new watch, new chain, chain coming. I mean, just a watch coming soon. Got her chain and everything. Like I, I be like speaking shit to existence. You know what I'm saying? And in that song, I did yeah. every. I did them them bars. I just said I did that shit. So it was like. That song do really mean a lot to me because I, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying like, I never change. Like it's over with, I'm not yeah. changing just because I'm in no chair, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, that's real. Um, how did it feel to finally get off of probation? Cause you was on probation <laughs> yeah. for a couple of years. Hell yeah, bro. Like I said, bro, I was, man, that was the toughest year, bro. Like the first year was the toughest year. I was, had all this shit going on. I'm on probation. I got, look, I get shot, get paralyzed. I'm on probation. Then I catch a case. So now I'm fighting revocation and a felony case. You know what I'm saying? They try to charge me with, uh, what the fuck was that? Felony possession of a firearm. So I beat, I beat my revocation. Cause my, my PO, I had five years hanging over my head, bro. Like I could, if, if I would have lost my revocation, I would have been upstate right now. Five years. 
I probably wouldn't be getting out from two years from now. Wow. No bullshit. So it was like, P.O. called me, like, uh, you, I got a replication, you know what I'm saying? We, we finna have to go through it. Like, it's, it's finna be all or in. I'm like, all right, shit, I'm finna lawyer up, do what I gotta do. I ain't finna, y'all ain't finna just tell me I'm guilty of some shit. Like, y'all ain't even trying to find a motherfucker that did this shit to me. Yeah. So it was like, when I beat all that shit, bro, I got off probation, bro, that shit felt like a, a relief. Like, bro, I hopped on the plane that day. Yeah. No bullshit. That day, I <laughs> hopped on the plane and went to Cali and huh. smoked good as a bitch on my baby <laughs> in the G. Huh. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, I, t- I told my PO too. I said, yeah, I'm finna go smoke. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay. <laughs> she was cool as a bitch, though. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> Probation was smooth, bro, but it was just like, this shit got, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit made it hard for me, bro. Yeah, yeah. But it was like, that shit was a relief, bro. I ain't got to worry about, you know what I'm saying? Like, going to see no P.O., she all right. in my business. Like, right. that yeah. shit a relief, bro, because it's like being in jail on the streets, bro. Huh. You don't got, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, niggas with 20 years of papers, bro, that shit is still jail, bro. Yeah. You don't got no rights. Right, because you right. got to ask permission to travel. Yeah. You got like, you can't do nothing. Yeah, like, I was going through that shit, too. I was on that shit for three years, bro. That shit, that shit was weak as a bitch, bro. Yeah. Oh, God. So, man, through all the trials and tribulations that you've been through, um, what are some things that you've, that you've done, like some practices to help you to, like, keep your mind right, keep your head above water, like, pull out of that depression? Because I know it's a lot of people yeah. out here who back is against the wall, feel like they going through some things that they can't ever get out of. Like, yeah. what are some things that, that, that you did and some advice that you could share? Shit, I could just say, like, you can't, you can't really escape your feelings. You know what I'm saying? You can feel how you want to feel, but don't ever give up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to put it in your mind. Like, all right, this happened. I'm still alive. You still breathing, you feel me? Like, you gotta just keep going. Like, it's it's all about keep going. Don't don't ever give up. Like, cause once you give up, then it's over with. You know what I'm saying? Like, what motivated me to just keep going was like, like I said, bro, I'm a hustler and I want shit when I want shit and I, I don't wait on nobody, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't wanna wait. I'ma say it like that, I don't wanna wait. So it's like, I gotta get back to that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just say, just keep going. Like, yeah. don't ever give up. Just keep going. Yeah. I can dig that. Um, and you dropped a new song, uh, I Wanna Knock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so are, are we going to consistently be getting music from you? Hell you know yeah. Saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm back to it now. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. That's why I'm out here, too. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Networking. I'm trying to, like, yeah, the I Wanna Knock. That shit, that shit out right now. We finna shoot the video to that shit. Uh, we we shooting it and shit though like it, it's gonna it's gonna be going going crazy I ain't gonna lie like I'm gonna I'm gonna start back you know what I'm saying going crazy with the music you know what I'm saying I'm I had to I had to just take my time you know what I'm saying yeah. I, to to the time was right and I feel like it's right right now so yeah I have to get back I'm still tight and then I'm going back to the music like I'm gonna start dropping consistently you know yeah. Word. Nah, that's what's up, man. And um, well, like, what what other plans do you have, like, with with the music or just with with everything you're doing? Like, what else? Yeah, coming up? like shit. I'm a uh, I'm gonna still be going crazy with the music. Like, at, like I'm gonna just do everything and try to expand it. You know what I'm saying? Like, from gaming, from the music, my tattooing. Like, I'm trying to expand. Like, Milwaukee. It, it's it, it's been good to me, but I gotta I gotta do this shit somewhere else. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, I I don't I don't I don't have my way in Milwaukee already. I can I'm trying to have my way somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like Atlanta, that's where that's, this is where I'm coming at. Like I'm trying to move and groove around here because it's like the hospitality here. Like I ain't gonna lie, like they got good hospitality, bro. Like everybody respectful. I know I I know it be shit going on everywhere, but it's like here. You know, it's not like Milwaukee, bro. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You would be way more successful here than Milwaukee, for real. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you yeah. get a push for real. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like no bullshit, bro. Like you, it's 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 tug of war over there. Right here, you can just ugh. 
too much. You know what I'm saying? You get that boost. Shit. Yeah. It's too much going on. Oh, there. Shit. It ain't a lot of shit going on. Yeah, so, so you doing something, you doing too much. <laughs> right, <laughs> no right. bullshit. Yeah, nah, that's yeah, real. Yeah. That's real. Um, you got any shout outs you want to give? Hell yeah, man. I want to, man, shout out everybody, man. Shout out my mama. Shout out my girl. Yeah, shout out my girl, Rock, man. Because I ain't going to lie, she, man, she the one who really, the see this, see me, you know what I'm saying? See this shit every yeah. day. Like, that's. That's the one that keep me going for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie, like, the biggest bone that I got, I ain't gonna lie, shout out to Rock, that's, that's my back, up. I ain't gonna lie, that's my backbone right there. And shout out my cousins, Key and D, man, Black Visuals. Yeah, shout out my little brother. Man, shout out to Hope Milwaukee. Shout out my nigga Chicken, man. Shout out, shout out Marmar, Big Frank, Jake P. Nigga, uh, shout out, uh, Man, the whole motherfucker Milwaukee, man. No yeah. bullshit. Shout out to everybody, man. No bullshit. Nah, that's what it do. That's what it do, man. YDN Kenny, bro. Appreciate you pulling up on us, man. Oh, Jumping yeah, off the sure. porch, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My phones go crown. My bitch like damn. Yes, I'm lit. You can check my Instagram. Throw that bitch.